What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? It's time for life. We're back with the season finale of Life After Lockup. So today we are definitely gonna look at Marcelino and Brittany. Or Brittany. Oh my goodness. So the mom, they've gone to the mom. The mom stole the money. They're asking where the money is and everything. The mom is saying that she wants money for rent. It's just so sad to see how the mom is spiraling down, 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 and down. Hey, right? You're feeling sorry for yourself? Hey, come inside. Your daughter is crying on the couch. And I just don't feel like my mom's any different. Because she was talking about that she actually really, she can understand. Brittany can understand, she can empathize because she used to be addicted as well. So she can really understand what the mom is going through and that how those things, those substances really take a hold of you, how they really cloud your judgment, how they really cloud you from seeing what's around you, the beautiful family that you have around you, the people that you have around you, the resources that you have around you. You know, it's, it's really, really tough and she understands that. So initially she's very angry but then she calms down and she has a very mellow voice oh britney's voice is beautiful she has a very mellow voice and she really starts talking to her mom very calmly and she really wants her mom to get that help because she really wants all she's ever wanted is a relationship with her mom and it's been so hard because of this of substances what did you spend the money on mom <laughs> What we've been doing to try to help my mother for all of these years is not working. Her whole entire life, she's been self-destructive and abusive toward her family, her children, and it terrifies me. I'm just sad. Like my whole life, I just wanted, I just wanted her to be there for me. I just wanted her to believe in me. That's the thing. Like now, she's doing so much better. She's come out of prison. She's got beautiful, beautiful kids beautiful home oh my goodness and she's really doing well for herself she's married and like i'm sure she's even surprised how far she's come from those days that she was you know running around doing all the things that she shouldn't be doing and all she needs right now is her mom to be like i am so proud of you but she's not getting any of that i just wanted her to spend time with me that too I can't go back home and i hope you know that that's her little sister oh they're so cute I do. I like the idea of going home to Alaska for a little while. That's where their dad is. But at the same time, I don't know what I will do with all my um, my furniture and my pets, and I don't want to break my lease or have an eviction on my on my shoulders. You know. Yeah, this is all very difficult. Sometimes people just say when they're when people are in 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 bad situations or bad like. Uh, home situations just move just go just bounce but it's really not that easy I mean you move you bounce that's money that's all your belongings that you spent years and years to gather that's a lot of things it's not just easy to just up and leave like that so I can understand that she's concerned I carry around four felonies on my record <laughs> so I know what it feels like to carry first of all See what Britney's wearing? I've seen those things all over the place. Whenever I wear it, I look like a bag of potatoes. But uh, it looks good on her. I don't know who can fit those things. You know those vests with like the pockets here? That doesn't look flattering on everybody. Like for some people, it looks like pajamas or like it just looks horrible. But she's rocking it. Everything's around, you know, the furniture. You can always buy more stuff. But what you can't get back is your independence you have breaking free from mother. I don't think she's going to change overnight. She's been like this for almost 50 years. 50. She didn't say 15. 50. 5 zero. 50 years this woman has been like this. And they've been trying to help her. Obviously, it didn't help that Brittany had to go into prison herself for a while. But, you know, she's a grown woman. She has other kids. And it's they've tried to get her to, like, digital AA meetings with all this... Uh, was it AA? I think so. With all this uh, Koro going around. But, yeah, they're really, really trying. But... Addiction is just, it, it's one he heck of a thing. She's been fighting these demons her entire life. You think mom, talking about mom makes you mad, and it doesn't. It makes you sad. And it should. Hmm. Brittany's like, oh, she seems like a very cool big sister to have. 
She has this very calming voice. She has a voice of reason. And yeah, the sister should really be lucky that she has her around now. Like, this is the positive side of these people coming out of prison and really doing something good with their lives, you know? And that's okay. The feeling right here is, is well worth every penny. Marcelino, her husband. So they did the, the backyard for, I think, $20,000. It was a lot. And Brittany didn't even know it was that much, but that garden looks amazing. For these kids, they can run around free. It really looks good. If you've got the money, by all means, go for it. If you want to get in debt to get a garden, don't do it. I can't believe you tried to get me to move. Look at all these kids. Oh my goodness. There's one walking around over there. There's one to the right. There's one on her lap. Wow. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Oh, look at her. She's so cute. I just wish these people to have a good life because people do deserve second chances, right? Uh, but, you know, being a criminal is, is no, in no way is it a good thing. Like, I feel, again, they're humanizing these people with this program, but in no way is it a good thing. And I'm sure they all did very bad things that had very bad and detrimental effects to other people, which is not okay at all. Now, they did the time, paid for the crime, although the people who they did the stuff to might still be suffering from whatever they did, whereas these people are living their merry lives. But I just, I think it's better to be rooting for them to actually become upstanding citizens in, in life than to be like, okay, let them come out of jail and whatever comes their way, comes their way. They need to also be able to work, have families, and really turn, turn things around for themselves, you know? That helps the rest of society as well. Then them just being there and, and yeah, just taking money from, from the government or whatever because they can't get jobs anywhere. That's useless to anybody. And this shot, I'm confused. I thought it's Koro time, so they're, sh they're shooting this stuff themselves, which is why you see some very weird shots. But I don't know if somebody comes to their house and it's like, put the camera here, you guys will sit here, we'll put a camera there. I'm so confused because this shot is like from up. It looks like a drone or it's in a tree. Like, what? what is this shot? I'm confused. I'm very interested in how they're filming this stuff during Koro times. In fact, they should do a series that's like behind the scenes of Life After Lockup or Love After Lockup, both of them, and just show us how they went about it, how they were filming all these things. Because I am very, very curious. All I want more than anything for my mother is for her to be happy. Yes, everybody would want their their parents to be happy, their family members to be happy. And it's very sad to see this kind of struggle with her demons, as she said, from up close and not really being able to do anything. So yeah, this storyline is very interesting. She's trying to make the best out of her life, but sadly her mom is now the thing that's holding her back from living her best life. So we'll see how that goes. I wish them the very best. If you're not already part of this family, make sure you hit bump stop, add zone to the subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while I shout it. I'll see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. This is a lifestyle channel. We do everything up in here. There's so many videos, not only life after lockup, not only love after lockup, but all kinds of videos. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Mm -hmm.